Now then, now then, a very quick module video today. This is one that was linked to me a few weeks ago and I personally will find very useful going forward. Um, anyone who follows me on my campaign will know my campaign is 116 sessions long and counting, that's played weekly. As you have an ongoing campaign, it's inevitable that you will have an NPC who comes back where you think, shit, what was this person's voice? I can't remember how I did this person's accent. That, I find that particularly difficult in Curse of Strahd because it is Barovia and it is a pocket dimension and it's all sort of stagnant and self-contained. Everyone's accent probably would sound the same. So it obviously, for a lot of people, has that Eastern European sort of vibe and, and dialect. But if everyone sounds like that, you still need to try and make your NPCs sound notably different to each other. Otherwise, you're just doing like a Borat voice for however long your campaign lasts, according to some people. But it can be difficult to keep track of that. So some people like to have a little, you know, spreadsheet or a OneNote that has things like... Blinsky has a stutter. Uh, Ismark has a lisp. You know, all those obvious things. There's a module called Voice Actor, which, when enabled, I don't think it even actually has any... Yeah, it's made by Blitz. Um, allows the owner to record and allows certain ranks of people to play it back. But to show you what the actual module itself does, in any actor or NPC sheet, sorry, in any NPC sheet rather, you have these new buttons. Now, depending on what sort of style NPC sheet you use, they might move slightly, but it's always a record button and a um, play button. So it's as simple as, Go into your NPC, and I haven't set many of these up in my campaign because my campaign is 116 sessions long. So most people who've, and they're in Act 3 now, so I can't even think if there's anyone left for them to meet in the campaign. Some werewolves, some werewolf dead. Most people in their campaign, they have met, and they've been meeting for almost two and a half years worth of sessions. So they, they know what they sound. You know, we all have it drilled into our head. But if you're starting a new campaign, you might want to remind yourselves what these people sound like. So I could go in and say, right, who do we have here? Um, Harry Human. What do I want Harry Human to sound like? So I'm going to click record. I think uh, Harry Human will sound a little like this, and this is the accent I will go for when I play him. When you stop, it saves it. Now it puts it in a... It doesn't save it in the module, it does save the audio files within um, the Foundry directory. Not the module directory for voice actor, which some people find annoying, but that's what you want. Um, I mentioned in another video how I love using Soundboard by Blitz. The problem I had was I set the Soundboard directory to be inside the folder for the Soundboard module, which sounds great. It was all neat and organized, but then I updated the module and it wiped it. Wiped all the sound file organization I'd done. So to avoid that happening, when and if you update Voice Actor, that's why it's in your base foundry folder. If you're a bit of a folder neat freak like me, that might be a bit annoying, but you need to, or you're gonna delete everything you've done. Days, weeks, months later, if you know this NPC is coming up again and you can't remember the voice you did, I think a hairy human will sound a little like this, and this is the accent I will go for when I play. Do doesn't play it to your players, and they don't have access to these buttons, just plays it to you. So it's a great little reference for you to come back later and remind yourself what your NPC sounded like. I don't think there's anything more to talk about. It's a very, very straightforward module. Um, but I know people who've recorded, you know, on dictaphones, they've recorded what their characters sound like, they've kept voice files on their machine. This keeps it locked in. I just think it's really, really useful. And although I probably won't use it in my current campaign, I definitely will be using it in every campaign going forward. So yeah, let me know what you think, if this is something you're using, or if not, how you keep track of all your NPC voices. 
And yeah, as ever, leave a comment, let me know what you liked, what you didn't, and I'll see you again soon.